Today I'm going to put the Shure 55 SH Series 2 to the test. To do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a mini song in which all the tracks and all the instruments are recorded through this mic and this mic only. The only thing I'm going to vary is I have a Universal Audio Apollo audio interface with Unison technology in which I can change preamps and I'm going to use different preamps depending on what I'm recording. First is going to be the acoustic guitar. I doubled it and panned it left and right. After that I recorded the drums and since I only have one of these mics I had to separate the drum part into two different tracks that I had to play separately. I played a floor tom and a snare. Next up is the bass. It's my Rickenbacker 4001. It's recorded through my Ampeg amplifier and I put the microphone directly in the middle of the speaker about one inch from the grill. Next up is electric guitar recorded through my Fender Deluxe. Again, this guy in the middle of the speaker, about one inch from the grill. And the final instrument is some Wurlitzer electric piano sound through my Yamaha DX7, plugged into my Fender Deluxe, again, recorded with this guy, one inch from the grill. For the vocals, I decided to go big. I created a three-part harmony. Here's the main vocal part with the stereo double left and right. I should just forget about you. Here's the lower harmony, doubled up, panned left and right. I should just forget about you. Here's the upper harmony also panned left and right. I should just forget about you. Here's all three voices together. I should just forget about you. Everything that bothers me. Now, all the tracks I've been showing you have been EQ'd and compressed and so on. I just wanted to show the potential this mic can have in a mix. Now here's everything together. Remember, everything you're hearing has been recorded through this mic and this mic only. What did you think of the Elvis mic, Bambergi? Do you like the Elvis mic? It's a pretty mic. My conclusion is I'm mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised that a lot of the instruments that I thought would not sound very good through this mic, like the bass and maybe the guitars and the floor tom, they sounded really, really good. It has a really interesting character that could be very useful in the recording studio. The mic was a pleasure to use in the studio. The swivel head super practical when you're trying to mic different things like the floor tom and the amplifier as it swivels right into place goes to show you never know i'm boogie if you like vlogs like this subscribe we're gonna do a bunch more <laughs> <laughs>